My name is John McGrath, this is John McGrath Travel, and welcome to Singapore. Last thing anyone wants to do when they arrive at an airport after a really long flight is to stay in the airport but that's exactly what I'm doing to check out one of the most beautiful arrivals I've ever had in any airport around the world. Today I'm visiting the Jewel which is here in Singapore. So I've just got off the MRT and I'm here at Gardens by the Bay. Looks like there's a little bit of work still going on, a visitor centre um, that's still not quite finished yet. But I'm going to make my way around and see the gardens. I'm really excited. Everybody said about coming here and visiting this part of Singapore. So let's see what it's got in store. Skywalk is absolutely incredible. You're so high off the ground, I didn't realize how high it actually was until I'm up here. It gets really, really thin, as you can probably see behind me, and then it kind of opens out a little bit. But the views of the city um, and the views of the gardens are just breathtaking. If there's one place that you're gonna come in Singapore, it has to be here. And don't cheap out on all of the tickets. Get all of the experience, because believe me, they're worth it. Chinatown in Singapore is absolutely delightful to walk around. I have seen so many things, temples, um, shops that sell Chinese wares, you know, your typical tourist type stuff. And uh, it's just really, really nice to walk around. Being from Dubai now, I just, it's very difficult to just walk around the city and go find places to have a drink and chat. Dubai is so, um, so orientated around the car, but Singapore is so walkable. I'm used to heat, but this is something else. The humidity is just, it's not even at the height of the season, I don't think, but for me, it's quite unbearable. I've bought some tissues and I'm currently using them quite a lot. I think I've gone about through, gone through about three packets in a few days. It is hot here. 
but it's also tropical but on the equator and you need to expect that humidity when you come into Singapore. It is absolutely beautiful to walk around but by God it's hot. So in Singapore they have um, what's called hawker food markets and these are basically local food courts which have lots and lots of tiny little places to eat but it's all under one roof and uh, I have to say for some of the food that I've been here has been absolutely fantastic and I don't understand why people say that Singapore is super expensive if you come to a hawker food market you're not going to find expensive food I ate a full meal with two beers yesterday and it came to around 10 pounds, 10 British pounds. So I think that that's pretty good going. In Dubai, where I live, I would be paying well in excess of double that for a meal in a food court. So yeah, come to the Hawker Food Market. It's really, really good value for money and the amount of choice of food is amazing. Some of them also have Michelin stars and it's well worth having a look um, online and finding which ones do because I think you'd be pleasantly surprised. I'm having an iced lemon tea because if I don't have something cold to drink, I'm actually gonna die. <laughs> it's so hot. Oh my God, that is much better. I'm actually not gonna die. <laughs> the food here is such an eclectic mix of like all Asian foods. It's just Japanese, Korean, Malaysian, Singaporean, Indonesian, Asian, just it's absolutely incredible the amount of different food. Paradise. I know I'm probably not saying this right, but today I'm in Kampongilan in Singapore. It's an eclectic mix of Indian, Asian, Turkish, Lebanese, with a Muslim culture on one side and, well, every other culture in between. It's really, really beautiful. The buildings are absolutely stunning. There's lots to smell, see, taste. It's just a wonderful place. Take a look. So in Kampong Gilam, Haji Lane seems to be the bustling kind of area of where everything is to see and it's based around. Loads of shops, restaurants, bars, places to buy things, there's little record shops, you can buy bears, have your photo taken, buy clothes, all this kind of stuff. It's a really nice little street to walk along and just get some culture and feel a little bit of a buzz about the city, it's great. Behind me is Arab Street. This is one of the three consecutive streets that are joined together to create this neighborhood. Um, it is what it says on the tin. It's got lots of Arab culture. We're gonna see the Sultan Mosque in a moment. And there's also plenty of places to eat, dine, and take in some of the Arabic influence that was here from the very beginning of this neighborhood. Enjoy a few shots of this place and make sure that you come and visit it because it really is a part of Singapore that is bustling with ancient civilization from the Malays here hundreds and hundreds of years ago to the very present day where people are residing here and making this their home. Kampong Gilam has now evolved into a really hip, cool, trendy place, lots of travellers here. But this was originally um, created in the colonial era by Sir Stamford Raffles. He created this area for the Bugis, Arab and Malay communities. And I have to say, they've made an absolutely fantastic job of it because this is probably one of my favourite places in Singapore so far.
So I've jumped on the metro uh, from Bugis, which is where Haji Lane and uh, Kampong Gilan was. Still can't get used to saying that word. Um, and I've jumped two stops. Um, I'm now in Little India and some beautiful colour buildings. The smell of Indian food is rich in the air. So let's have a look. Let's see what Little India has got to offer. Well, maybe I haven't researched too well of coming to Little India, but I don't really find there's a lot to do. I've saw a temple and a colourful house, but I think that was really about it. Um, not particularly interested in the kind of same shops over and over, gold shops and shops selling clothes that I'm not really interested in. So Little India was nice to walk around, but I probably wouldn't come again. It's not something that is on my bucket list for Singapore. However, come soak in the atmosphere grab yourself a mango lassi and uh, yeah, spend a little bit of time here. So to get to the zoo, it's really, really easy. All you have to do is jump on the red line. I think it's the north south line. Come to Khatib. And once you get to the station, come downstairs and you go straight to the Mandai Express bus, which costs a dollar each way. And it will get you to the zoo in about 15 minutes which is great so that's where I'm off to now and I think my bus is in so I'm gonna run for it well here I am at Singapore Zoo and that was a really quick journey 15 minutes and we're here so let's see some animals The zoo have been really kind and let me do the elephant feeding because there was one less person booked on the 11.45 feeding. So that means I do get to feed the elephants. I'm so excited. So this is what they give you. They give you some carrots, some bananas and some lettuce. So yeah, let's feed the elephants. So the elephant feeding at Singapore Zoo costs eight Singapore dollars. And they give you the food, and now you get to feed the elephant. Hi! Oh, so cute! You can put right. the basket down. Yeah? Okay, right. Should we feed the elephant? Don't think she wants to be fed. Ah, the other one will. Here we go. Maybe she doesn't like bananas today. Want a banana? And once she's done with the apples, she will. Yeah, I was gonna say. Banana, yeah. And the last one, maybe she just, maybe she's full now. <laughs> oh. Do you like your apples? Oh, here we go. Ooh. Oh, so cute. Maybe she wants some lettuce. Oh wow. You're hungry. Look. So cute. Oh my god, I love elephants. Should we give them a carrot? 
She got really bristly skin. <laughs> so adorable. Want some more? Oh my god, so cool. And I've got some more carrot and a banana. Last one. Oh. Ready? One last little bit. Oh, you're so cute. <laughs> It's like a little pincer on the nose, it's so adorable. Aww. Time to feed the giraffes. <sighs> this is the most exciting part of my holiday. Excited. Oh, this one. Oh my god, look at the size of him, he's huge. All you have to do is take one at a time. Reach out high and let go, but do not touch him. Yeah? Don't touch him. Okay. Bye. Oh my god. He's literally... Look at the size of his tongue! Oh my god, it's huge! <laughs> He's so cute! Mm, I love giraffes! <laughs> Look at his face! Look. What's this? Oh. Yay! Feeding the big one! Oh. The size of the tongue! It's massive! I think he's been a bit greedy. Of course. Yeah, he's wanting a bit of everybody's. Oh, look. Wow. Absolutely can't recommend the animal feeding enough. It's just wonderful. It's great to see the kids having so much fun. You have to do it. It's just great. Well, today's day five of my holiday in Singapore, and today I'm at Universal Studios, so come and check it out with me! Woohoo! So for those of you that don't know, this is Jess. I work with Jess and we didn't realise that we'd be in Singapore at the same time together. So today we've come to Universal Studios. Uh, I'll go home tomorrow, but you've got lots planned Absolutely. for tonight and tomorrow yeah. as well. But we're going to have a great time at Universal today. We're so excited and we got... What did we win again? Priority passes. Priority passes for the rides because Jess has got a big mouth and she shouted really <laughs> loud at the front Bit gate. Of a <laughs> So yes, yeah, so we're really lucky, so we don't have to rush around, we get priority access to the ride. So here we go, Universal Studios Singapore! Woohoo! The Battlestar Galactica roller coasters that are behind me are absolutely incredible. The red one um, is a little bit tamer, there's no upside downs or loops or anything, but the black one is something else and that is the one that literally knocked me sick. Right, we've had a great time at Universal Studios today. We've been on all the rides. We've made ourselves feel sick. Um, but other than that, we've had a great time. There's uh, not a great deal of roller coaster. I think there's about four. Yeah. four main attractions which was cool but it is quite expensive just for having four roller coasters um, but the food was cool everything was nice the weather was nice we've had a great time so that was it thank you Universal Studios for having us and we'll see you again sometime soon bye, bye. <laughs>
I didn't spend loads of money in here, you did. No, you did. I can't believe it's time to say goodbye to the beautiful city that is Singapore already. I've been here for five days and it's been absolutely fantastic. The food has been delicious, the people have been so welcoming and the activities have been endless. Today, it makes me sad that I'm leaving, but I know that I'm definitely going to come back to Singapore. Can't recommend it highly enough. The favourite things for me have been able to walk around the city and feel that tropical vibe. It's been wonderful to walk in between old buildings, skyscrapers and tropical plants and animals. It's just stunning. It's extremely clean and I've just been more than happy to be here. So I can't wait to come back. Guys, if you can come to Singapore, do it. You will have such an amazing time. Thank you for watching. My name's John McGrath. This is John McGrath Travel and you've just visited with me, Singapore.